weekly in-depth view of agriculture up close. This is In the Field. Presented by Gordon's Feed and Pet. Located just minutes outside of Rogersville, Missouri is the home of Papa Valley Wagyu. We're here to meet Brian and learn what sets this unique beef breed apart. This farm used to be an entirely uh, alfalfa farm. Mm -hmm. And then we transitioned it into more of a hobby Angus farm. And then we thought, well, there's, there's a little more, more of a market for a different kind of cattle breed. So we uh -huh. started looking at different breeds and we found Wagyu. And we found a, a producer about two hours east of us and we started talking with them and just knowing the learning the benefits of the breed mm -hmm. and some of the benefits are calving ease mm -hmm. uh, the docility of the animals they're very docile they're very really curious and friendly mm -hmm. animals and then the uh, the meat quality and we never tasted wagyu so we said well before we get into a different type of business we got to taste the end product so mm -hmm. we ended up buying some uh, full blood steaks from a producer on the west side of the United States and then I went out and bought the, the best prime Angus steak I could find in our market. Mm -hmm. Did a taste test, just salt and pepper, mm -hmm. same, same medium uh, and a temperament and we did a taste test and it was night and day difference. Wow. I mean, it was totally different. We said we definitely have to get into this, this type of breed. So mm -hmm. that's what changed our minds and we went into Wagyu. Well, we're going to talk more about those steaks um, soon, but let's talk about the breed itself. Sure. Um, you know, we talk uh, around here in the Ozarks, we, you know, Hereford and Charlet and Angus and Simmental, common breeds around here that you see everywhere, but not Wagyu. Mm -hmm. So take me through the history of the breed. Wagyu, it's a Japanese breed. Mm -hmm. um, if you ever heard, if you don't know what Wagyu is, uh, Kobe beef. Kobe beef mm -hmm. is from the Kobe region, Japan. Wagyu is the breed of cattle that they use for Kobe beef but you can't call it Kobe beef unless it's born and raised and fed out gotcha. and, and processed in Japan and then shipped over here uh, for export for, for Japanese. Mm -hmm. Now the, the breed Wagyu is over here. In 1974-75 we got our first four full blood bulls from Japan to the United States and then in the 90s is when a bigger shipment came over of genetics bulls and females and then from there just everybody that adopted it early started breeding into other cattle or or Wagyu full blood breeding mm -hmm. and it's grown to what it is today and so it started in Japan and, and now it's here in the United States it's also in Australia but it's it is definitely growing in the United States and growing it is and you're seeing uh, more and more farms here in the Ozarks pop up mm -hmm. so uh, before we go any further let's take a closer look sure Well, basically, you'll, you'll see two different colors of Wagyu here. Mm -hmm. There's red and black. Now, the red, the technical term for the red is Akuyushi, and the black, everybody just calls them full blood black Wagyu, mm -hmm. um, but also there's four different genetic lines of the black Wagyu, and two of the most popular lines are Kadaka and Tajima. Mm -hmm. Tajima are more of the marbling genetics, and then the Kadaka are more of the larger framed, um, or larger structured, larger framed animals. They used to use those more for work at, back in Japan. So you'll see a mix all out here. The, the Tajima ones, they're, they're, like I said, they're more, more known for marbling, so they're a little bit smaller structured. Mm -hmm. They're a little bit, uh, they got a little bit more bone to them. And then, um, and then the Kadaka, like I said, they're, they're a little larger. And we're, what we're trying to do is mesh them. So mm -hmm. we have a very well-rounded animal. Mm -hmm. We got a very high marbling genetic line, mm -hmm. but also a, a heavier, larger framed, larger structured, uh, Kadaka line too, so the best of both worlds. And then the, the red Wagyu, Akiushi, um, they're more, they look more like a beef animal. They're, yeah. they're larger structured, lar larger framed, and just have a little bit more weight to them, really. So when you're looking at these animals, they look more like a dairy cow than a beef cow, mm -hmm. but beef is the end product, and I think we're going to be able to see some of those steaks. Yes. Correct. Okay, I'm hungry. Let's go check yes, them I out. I can't wait. <laughs> 